ఓం శాంతి మార్నింగ్ ముల్లి ట్వంటీ సెవెంత్ ఏప్రిల్ స్వీట్ లెటర్ ఆఫ్ బాబ్ దాదా ఫార్ స్వీట్ స్వీట్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఎసెన్స్ స్వీట్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఫాలో శ్రీమత్ రిఫార్మ్ యువర్ బిహేవియర్ అండ్ బర్న్ యువర్ సిన్స్ అవే స్వీట్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఫాలో శ్రీమత్ రిఫార్మ్ యువర్ బిహేవియర్ అండ్ బర్న్ యువర్ సిన్స్ అవే ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు బికమ్ అ బీడ్ ఆఫ్ ద రోజరీ రిమెంబర్ నో వన్ బట్ ద వన్ ఫాదర్ క్వశ్చన్ విత్ చిల్డ్రన్ డస్ ద ఫాదర్ ఆటోమేటికలీ ప్రొటెక్ట్ విత్ చిల్డ్రన్ డస్ ద ఫాదర్ ఆటోమేటికలీ ప్రొటెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ దోస్ హూ ఆర్ వెరీ క్లీన్ అండ్ ఆనెస్ట్ అండ్ ఆర్ కాన్స్టెంట్లీ ట్రూ టు ద ఫాదర్ ఆర్ ఆటోమేటికలీ ప్రొటెక్టెడ్ విత్ చిల్డ్రన్ who are very clean and honest and are constantly true to the father are automatically protected those who have falsehood in them cannot be protected maya continues to pull them a great deal punishment also becomes fixed for them second question why do some children hide their illness from the spiritual surgeon why do some children hide their illness from the spiritual surgeon because they are afraid of losing their owner they know they have been deceived by maya and their eyes have become criminal so they hide this from the father baba says children the more you hide something the lower you will continue to fall maya will eat you and you will then stop studying this is why you have to remain very cautious don't follow the dictates of your own minds or devilish dictates don't follow the dictates of your own minds or devilish dictates om shanti the spiritual father explains to you spiritual children you children have developed the faith that only the spiritual father teaches you soul this is why it is sung souls remain separated from the supreme soul for a long time in the incorporeal world all souls stay together they don't say stay separately souls then separate they come from there to play their own parts from being sato pradhan they come down and become tamo pradhan people call out o oh purifier come come and purify us the father explains to you children that he comes every 5000 years this word cycle is 5000 years the incorporeal father also definitely has to speak to you through a body he does not give inspiration from up above just as you souls adopt bodies and speak so the father to say i speak to you through this body i give directions to you children to the extent that someone follows his direction so he benefits himself the father explain that it is then up to you whether you follow shrimat or not and whether you listen to the teacher or not you benefit yourselves or incur a loss for yourself if you don't listen to him you will fail if you don't listen to him you will fail shiv baba explains very clearly you children learn from shiv baba and you then have to teach others sancho's father this is not a question of a physical father this refers to the spiritual father so you children understand that you claim your inheritance to the extent that you follow shrimat the father says remember me and your sins of many births will be cut away in the kingdom of ravan all those sinful souls bow their heads to the charitable souls means their ideals they don't know that these charitable souls then become sinful souls they think they are always charitable souls the father explains while taking rebirth they change from charitable souls to 
sinful souls they take 84 births and therefore from being sato pradhan they become tamo pradhan they become sinful souls and so they remember the father when they are charitable souls there is no need to remember the father the father does not sit and explain all of these things to everyone you children do service at this time human beings have become devils and because of this it does not sit in their intellects that god is not omnipresent everything depends on this krishna is a bodily being he is called a deity he is called a deity the father of souls is the incorporeal father he has to be remembered although you speak of the father of people he is a corporeal being all of these things are explained to you very clearly but some children don't understand them they take the wrong path and end up in the forest baba shows you the path to the city that is to go to heaven but because of not understanding some end up in the forest when they go into the forest they become thrones even while staying here they don't follow the path properly even while staying there here they don't follow the path properly they remain in between then they come at the end there too so you have come here to go to heaven in fact the silver age cannot be called heaven because it has decreased by 25% you are now at the confluence age the father says renounce the old world and remember the new world he does not say forget the old world and remember the silver age no the silver age can hardly be called the new world because of not following the path properly they continue to fluctuate according to the drama those who fully pass the exam in the previous cycle will do so again those who go into the silver age will have failed those who are to become residents of heaven will pass fully so for cycle after cycle the birth after birth you will pass the same exam at the confluence age as you are doing now those who are not going to become flowers will not become flowers no matter how hard one pulls them and akk is also a flower thorns would still prick you everything depends on how you study everything depends on how you study maya makes even good children into thorns they become traitors those who leave their homeland and go to the other side are called traitors the father has come to liberate you from maya children says baba maya is very powerful she pulls us to her maya is no less a magnet maya is no less a magnet nowadays look how much superficial beauty has increased and this is why people have become so fashionable look at what they show in films earlier there was no films everything has been invented in the last 100 years the secrets of the drama have to be understood it is as though heaven has been created in 100 years there even science will gives a lot of happiness there even science will give a lot of happiness there they have no arrogance of science <coughs> science gives so much happiness however destruction of the old world has to take place so that the happiness can become permanent happiness can become permanent look how the father makes so much effort to make you children elevated but some children don't believe at all that baba is teaching us 
even good children are caught in the claws of maya maya then completely controls them however once those who have even heard this knowledge they will definitely go to heaven but would not claim a high status you all say that you will become narayan therefore you also have to make that much effort however everything is a game in the drama some climb others fall you continue to fluctuate everything depends on the pilgrimage of remembrance the father gives us limitless treasures the father gives us limitless treasures there is no question of them suffering for their karma there those who accumulate here at this time will claim the full inheritance you must not think that because you climb you will also fall no you have fallen very low and so you can now only go up according to the drama you continue to make effort look how both of them are worshiped so much shiva is worshiped the most but then they say he is in the pebbles and stones there is so much ignorance you children now know you were that and you are becoming so once again although they worship shiva and offer him sacrifices no one knows how shiva the father the ocean of knowledge comes and teaches us you now have to study make effort and claim a high status maya also does not leave anyone alone maya does not leave anyone alone she catches hold of them completely baba says children write your chart honestly write your chart honestly some children don't tell the truth and so they accumulate punishment then at the time of punishment they cry out in distress forgive me i will not do the same thing again when a small child does something wrong his father scolds him and so he cries in distress this is the unlimited father such a great father does everything with such humility he is so gentle just as little children are so soft and gentle when something happens to them you say okay it does not matter okay it does not matter this is because they are following the path of the drama it's okay it was destined it was destined he then explains make sure it does not happen again in the future there is shrimat and there are devilish directions this brahma is the alokic father there is then also the unlimited father some may not listen to their limited father but the unlimited father has made this one brahma an instrument and so you should listen to him so you should listen to him this is why this baba says maya is no less she makes you do wrong things so you should understand that these are god's direction father says if you receive a wrong direction from this one i will still put it right baba has chosen an experienced chariot he has taken so many insults you should remain very clean and honest with baba you should remain very clean and honest with baba the more honest and clean you are with baba the more you will be protected those whose behavior is false cannot be protected punishment becomes fixed for them maya catches each of them by his nose children know when maya has eaten them for this is why they stopped studying baba says no matter what happen never stop studying never stop studying whatever each one does he will receive accordingly when will he receive the reward in the future
बिकॉज दिस वर्ड इज नाउ गोइंग टू चेंज नो वन अपार्ट फ्रॉम यू नोज दिस अमंग यू टू मैनी चिल्ड्रन फॉर गेट मैनी चिल्ड्रन फॉर गेट इफ यू स्टे इन रिमेम्बरेंस यू ऑल्सो रिमेन हैप्पी हाउ एवर माया मेक्स यू कम्प्लीटली फॉर गेट Maya makes you completely forget this war with Maya will continue till the end even good children know when they have done something wrong and they don't tell baba because they are afraid of losing their owner they then continue to choke yes if you are a couple and one of you has told the truth then the other one would feel that he or she should also tell if they don't have a high status in their fortune they hide it from the surgeon the more you hide the lower you will continue to fall the more you hide the lower you will continue to fall the eyes of some are such that they don't, don't stop being criminal some children are very good and they never remember anyone else just as a faithful wife's vision never goes to any other man the father explains if you want to become a bead of the rosary your stage has to be like that it is not a small thing to become a master of the word the unlimited father is teaching you and so what more do you want the unlimited father is teaching you and so what more do you want baba tells you practically that so and so has this speciality and that so and so has that speciality this is why he gives you number wise love and remembrance while sitting here baba's vision is on the serviceable children baba's vision on the serviceable children on the path of ignorance to there is love for obedient children baba knows which of his children are doing good service baba knows which of his uh, children are doing good service you are brahma kumars and kumaris grandchildren of shri baba and so you should definitely receive your inheritance from your grandfather brahma does not have the inheritance the father himself says i am the unlimited father of you souls i give you the unlimited inheritance therefore now follow my shrimat therefore now follow my shrimat i have come to make you children bodiless i have come to make you children bodiless the same as i am and to take you back your lights are now being ignited with knowledge and yoga if you don't follow knowledge and yoga very well there will have to be punishment from dharam raj this is why you must first have your sins burnt away you must first have your sins burnt away although some human beings think that they are in heaven at this time but baba is saying it is temporary happiness it is temporary happiness the unlimited father does not give them the inheritance the father says i am the lord of the poor i make wealthy those who are absolutely poor impure and have stone intellects although someone still impure might come to you he would attain a low status he would not be able to become part of the rosary of the victory here you make a, make a bargain with the unlimited father here you make a bargain with the unlimited father baba all of this is going to turn to dust all of this is going to turn to dust this is why i surrender myself to you take all of this and make me into a master of heaven the father says i am the best over there is no expense in establishing a kingdom and becoming a master of the world there they spend so much in battling what expenses do you have here what expenses do you have here 
here you don't have any expenses because you don't have any weapons etc through the power of yoga you become the masters of the world those people fight so much with the physical power power and yet they cannot become the masters of the world that is not in their parts in the drama only the unlimited father teaches you true raj yoga you know that the supreme father the supreme soul establishes heaven through raj yoga you are now studying at the complex age and you will receive a status number wise according to how much you study you are now studying at the conference age and you will receive a status number wise according to how much you study acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we spiritual children says namaste good morning to our sweetest spiritual father essence for dharna first imbibe the virtue of humility the same as the father don't prick anyone become a flower and spread fragrance and spread fragrance second imbibe the virtue of honesty and don't hide anything from the surgeon don't hide anything from the surgeon never stop studying under any circumstances become obedient today's blessing feel baba's hand on your head and take blessing may you use the blessings you receive from the father at the appropriate time and by making them fruitful become an image that is blessed may you use the blessings you receive from the father at the appropriate time and by making them fruitful become an image that is blessed baba is saying use all the blessings you receive from bab dada at the appropriate time and these blessing will stay with you for all time these blessing will stay with you all time in order to make the seed of blessing fruitful rapidly give it to the water of remembrance and the sunshine of your stabilizing in the form of blessing each blessing will bring many blessings with it and as a result you will become an angel that is blessed and the result you will become an image that is blessed the more you use your blessings at the appropriate time the more elevated the blessings will be seen to be the more you use your blessings at the appropriate time the more elevated the blessings will be seen to be slogan when you pay natural attention when you pay natural attention tension will automatically finish tension will automatically finish om shanti thank you baba